going to show you a couple positions uh, on the guitar neck. We're going to be uh, in the key of A here today. So I'm going to kind of show you some second position stuff and some fifth position stuff and then we'll kind of mosey on up here into the, uh, the uh, ninth fret kind of thing. So first of all, what I'm going to show you is just some little uh, two note chords uh, for the A that you can fool around with. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm keeping the fifth, the fifth string, the A string, open all the time. I'm kind of uh, alternating back and forth from it. So the fifth strings will be played by my pick. And then mostly everything I'm going to do for the first half of this lick, or the first half of this e example, is I'm going to be clawing on the third and fourth strings. And what I mean by clawing, I'm going to be clawing with these two fingers here. The second finger and my third finger. <laughs> Now this kind of stuff kind of comes from the um, the uh, Merle Haggard Working Man Blues kind of lick. Kind of a takeoff on that kind of thing. So what I'm doing here is again I got that flat seven, the G. I got my major third here played with my second finger and I'm going to be hammering that note on from the minor third. So I've got some cool kind of dissonance in there. So there I'm kind of really deliberately playing this lick very staccato, short and sweet. And then I'm taking that, so I'm holding it down long enough for that those notes to ring out, then I'm lifting my finger off, but not off the string, just enough to choke it. What I'm doing over here, is it's almost like I'm playing kind of a D shape. So I'm kind of going back from the 1 and the 4, the A and the D, A, B, C sharp, D, the 4, 1 to the 4. Also, cool rock sign. Then I'm going down here, I'm kind of stealing an old Jerry Ree kind of thing that he used to do. I love doing this thing. I got the fifth, the E down here, again, pedaling off the A, the open A. I've got the second finger on the E, and I got my third finger on the A. So I'm going to go going down to the E flat now, the flat five, and I'm going to pull off to the D. Again, you got that dissidence for just a little bit, and it kind of adds that, you know, what the hell did you just do kind of sound. And I'm just kind of ending it off with a just kind of a pentatonic lick. Minor third, major third, flat seven. common in a lot of rock and blues and country stuff, that minor third, major third relationship. It happens a lot. So again, going from this box up here, down to this box down here. Make up your own rhythms between the two and see what works. Fool around with 
around with some different shapes. There's a G and a D over that A. So chill on that. See what comes out. We'll see what comes out of that for you.